Now we're going to take a look at some establishing shots first. These are only guidelines, but they're basic examples of what to expect in a wide angle establishing shot. This first one shows that we are at the University of Florida. We're going from wide angle to a tight angle to give a sense of the place where the University of Florida is. This is a static shot, but it's got a little bit of action, the person on the bike, telling us again where we are. Now this one, we have zoomed in on that sign and are drawing back and showing that we are in downtown Alachua. This next one, again, we're in a tight angle, but we're going to draw back. It's a single shot. And this little house coming up on the left is our interviewee. And this gives a really good sense of where the person lives and maybe even who they are. And here's another example of establishing shot, just a simple wide angle, but we've got a foreground, which gives a really nice sense of depth. And here we have some action going through the frame, but still a wide angle shot of where we are. Okay, now we're going to do some multiple shots. Wide angle, here's where we are. And here's some action taking place in the plaza there, in this case lunch being served. This time we didn't have video, but we're using stills for the same purpose. Wide angle, and now it tells us exactly that we have driven far out in the woods. And here we are where the action is taking place. Where we have some video, but we have arrived via those still shots. Here's a really nice way to open. Establishing shot coming down on this beautiful house. Let's see how the action unfolds. Oh, there's a party going on in the background. Everyone's dressed nicely. What kind of party could it be? Hmm. This to me looks like a wedding reception. Your viewer will draw the same conclusion. We have multiple shots this time. Starting out with this establishing shot. It's gonna lead us to where the action is again. So we're at the farmer's market, wide angle, adding a little bit of activity here, showing people setting up. And let's just say that these are the people that we're featuring in our oral history, and this gives an idea of what they have done. Now let's take a look at the fun part, the action shots. And this gives a really good idea of what the person does. Here's our forest harvester again. And in this case, he's harvested his palmetto berries, and this is how he does it. He could run underneath the narrative and be very, very effective. Okay, and this one is really popular. Hmm. It's a good way to get a second venue. Did anything used to be in the Talking area? about no, the area. No, there's always a, a front yard, and that's Dr. Tab's office building there. And this was, this was at, as I say, at one time a terraplane and then a Dodge and Plymouth garage. You can see we're uh, following have the you ever action. Heard of terraplane? Most people haven't. Here's a migrant farm working showing what he does all day, or part of the day. And here, in this case, is an oral history interviewer showing uh, kind of in the restaurant there prior to interviewing that fellow and goofing off. Very popular action shot, going through doors, showing people going somewhere. So this one is great because it shows that maybe this is our interviewee, and this is the kind of things he does on the weekends with his free time. Now this is one of my favorite ones, multiple shots. I dumbed down the audience so we wouldn't be distracted by this charming British couple and their accent. <laughs> but we're following them into their house and they're going to lead us to this next action, which is a real popular way to show action, looking through photo books. And here they are pointing and all of that good stuff. And now we're going to get a great over-the-shoulder shot. 
and this is very popular and uh, it really engages the viewer. A good way to show action shots. 